A viewer on the Bloomberg terminal. Central bank put is now going to be more out of the money than markets previously thought. The, the Fed just isn't going to be a friend here, Judy, and that's the takeaway from so many people. Is it your takeaway too? Well, the, the problem here is that, you know, we have this gap in communication between now and Powell's first conference, press conference on March the 21st. And when you have data like we've seen this morning, clearly the CPI number was much larger than people expected. But on the other hand, retail, retail sales were much softer than expected. So it's going to make communication extremely challenging. But the message from this morning is if you had seen an inflation number like this a week or a week and a half ago, bond yields would have been up 10 or 15 <laughs> basis points instead of four because positioning is very extended. And so that to us is all part feeds into the equity loop in terms of this ongoing correction phase. Now, I want to get to the Nora Rabini response from just the other week, and we talked about it on this program, the professor at NYU, and he tweeted the following, and I think it really captured this reaction function debate over the Federal Reserve as far as markets are concerned. He said, in previous market corrections, macro shocks triggering the risk-off episodes with deflation. They were stalled growth, so central banks saved the economy markets by easing or delaying hikes. This time, the risk is higher inflation. Central banks can't lift markets. The reaction function's changed. When the market downturns, John, the Fed's not going to be there anymore. Well, I, I, I think actually, I think the, the Fed will be there because it has, it has several things that it can do. It, it, it has raised rates. Uh, we're now in a band of 125 to 150 and likely moving higher soon. So it could, it, it could knock off a couple of bips. The other thing is I, I think Nuriel Rubini is, is overestimating uh, the rate of inflation that's ahead. That we've got the, the the secular trends that also affect the current cycle, yeah. technology uh, with uh, uh, what it does to the workplace in terms of robotics on the factory floor, algorithms in the offices, technology with corporations, lowering the barrier of entry to competitors on a global basis from mom and pops to multinationals. Everybody's worried about cost consciousness. You get you get a company's reporting, and when they're on that call, there's they may be they may have blown the doors off. In terms well, John, of not estimate. to not to speak for Professor oh. Rabini, okay. I think I think yeah. the basic point is you're not expecting oh. a massive spike higher inflation. Yes, it's just the incentive to react oh. to not, yes. market routes is not there anymore because the deflation oh. risk has gone. Yep. Inflation's pretty much back on target. I fail to see what the incentive is for the Federal Reserve to back away from their projected rate hikes for this year oh. because volatility's picked up and the equity markets oh. rolled over a little. But as long as they, they, they can normalize, I think, very comfortably at this point, and a modest normalization that's sensitive, if they continue what they're doing, I think it doesn't roil the equity markets. It, it still will damage the bond market.